ಶ್ರೀ ಗುರುಭ್ಯೋ ನಮಃ ನಮಸ್ತೆ ಫ್ರೆಂಡ್ಸ್ ಒನ್ಸ್ ಅಗೇನ್ ಐ ಕಮ್ ವಿತ್ ಅನದರ್ ವೀಡಿಯೋ ಟುಡೇ ದರ್ ಹಸ್ ಬಿನ್ ಇನ್ ರಿಕ್ವೆಸ್ಟ್ ಟು ಗೆಟ್ ದಿ ಟೈಮ್ ವೆನ್ ಮೂನ್ ಚೇಂಜಸ್ ನಕ್ಷತ್ರ ಪಾದ ಬೇಸಿಕಲಿ ವೆನ್ ಇಟ್ ಸ್ವಿಚಸ್ ನವಾಂಶ ಸೈನ್ ಸೊ ಇಫ್ ಯು ಸಿ ಯರ್ ಐ ಹವ್ ಕ್ಯಾಸ್ಟ್ ಇಟ್ ಫಾರ್ ದ ಕರೆಂಟ್ ಟೈಮ್ ಮೂನ್ ಈಸ್ ಇನ್ ಸಮ್ ನವಾಂಶ when does moon change in avamsa sign or basically when does uh, now it is satabhshak nakshatra first pada when did it enter first pada when will it enter the second pada when will it enter the third pada and so on if we can compute that people would be uh, using it i think for trading purposes and other uh, general matters so if you had to do it in uh, jagannath avara what you let to do is take moon and check when it crosses navamsha after a given date uh, after the current date in fact so current date and time so if you click here it will tell you that on november 21st at 303 am it switches sign and again if you have to check again when will it change you have to keep checking here it goes to the next sign in navamsha and that is at 842 so if we were to do this for uh, say one month time or uh, for the entire zodiac circling of uh, the moon it takes you multiple clicks here and it becomes troublesome so if people wanted to use this data in excel so that way this uh, was addressed uh, by what i have done here is the called the moon's entry time into navamsha you give a given date uh, say today's date i give up and i want to check uh, uh, i give of course uh, the only information required for moon's entry time is the given date and i am so number because i am going to uh, calculate uh, th- this function request that in the vba code uh, this latitude longitude because i have written certain things here i was cross checking uh, whether the for this time the moon Uh, degree turns out to be right for that it's required otherwise it's not all required uh, the time zone alone is enough uh, and the inamsa number or inamsa choice is uh, enough what i do here is moon's degree at uh, the given zero hours this is zero hours so on that zero hour i calculate the degree of the moon and therefore the rashi and the nakshatra and the pada now this would be not exactly in the entry of the pada it would be somewhere it could have entered the pada sometime back so first data i am calculating this uh, uh, the entry of the pada degree itself the starting degree of the pada so that happens to be in this case 293 degrees 20 minutes so if you were to give a different date the nakshatra would be different therefore you will have a different number here so i start with the first pada the pada that is just after the zero hour or at the running point of the zero hours before that because it would have entered uh, uh, even before and then i calculate uh, the pada number there it uh, now it happens to be danishta first pada and the initial starting point of danishta first pada is this degree 293.33 degrees and when does moon enter a particular degree we already have a formula so we get a time when moon enters this degree from then on i am adding just a pada uh, level of uh, delta degree so i am adding a 293.333 degrees so each pada is that much and i am getting the next pada entry time directly so in a sense you, i do it for continuously for all padas of 108 padas i have done uh, so circling around the entire zodiac of the navamsa uh, so it covers uh, from 19th of uh, november says it uh, comes back to shravana and then uh, 16th uh, and 17th it goes so in case you want to when pada shift is happening you just have to cross check just get this time this is the time when it happens so let us maybe cross check here now we saw that at 8:42 on november 21st moon has entered sadayam swatabhishak third pada so swatabhishak third pada 842 am it has entered so it uh, calculates exactly as what uh, 
Jagannathavara also does. Suppose second choice, there will be different. So I'm not displaying the second part there. So the, I think this would be helpful to you because there was a request from someone to do this, but we had already done this uh, in terms of uh, when a particular degree is crossed by moon. I just uh, modified that degree to be the path of the uh, nakshatra. Basically, the Navamsa sign itself, therefore. So, each is the Navamsa sign. So, when moon changes Navamsa sign, is what we are getting here. Hopefully, this is useful to you uh, for other matters. You can use this calculation and uh, expand on this. Uh, I'll give, give the downloadable link. Give it a try and uh, definitely enter your comments so that uh, we can keep working on such things in the future. Thank you.